Hello to all, I have a couple of products here from Juggernaut Cases. Here I have their Impact Case, and then over here I have their PALS Armor Plate Carrier Mount for smartphones. So this case here, they make it for a variety of different phone types. So they have cases for like iPhone, the Samsung Galaxy, Google phones. Um, they also have cases for tablets as well, iPad and Samsung cases as well. And this over here connects to the case so you can put it on your plate carrier. I'm not sure if this will work on mine, but we'll get to that later. And here we are, the impact case. With these, they do offer other accessories if you want to retain the uh, standard of protection. They have some, what do you call it, cables and everything that go with it, but they're expensive from what I've seen. Some of those cables cost like $200. I'm just sticking with the basic setup for now. So the instructions come in with it. Uh, it seems pretty easy, self-explanatory. Just pop that open, slide the phone in, put it back on. Do, 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 do. Yeah, all right. Did not come to hold up. Oh, well, that came with screen protector for a second. So here, just looking at the case. Seems to be all right, polymer. Let's try to open this up. All right, so. Okay, so the bottom, if you wanna charge it and everything, you have to remove this, but as of now, it's just keeping it watertight down there. All right, and then the top one, this is a little bit harder. So this is plastic light. This is rubber down here. So now it's open from the top. This has a little foam pad on the top. And I have a 11 Pro. Yeah, I'm not, no, I don't want you, Siri. I'm here. Ah, go away, please. Thank you, though. All right, so there you go. I have it in, very nice, tight, snug fit. Uh, let's see, now pop that back on and there you go. Let's see, it's kind of difficult to get to the ringer button back there volume controls, click, and the power button works. All right, so there is the impact phone case. And here we have the PALS chest rig plate carrier mount. Come on out of there. And this comes with instructions too. Shows you which parts to enter into your webbing first. My plate carrier does not have webbing. Again, we'll see how that goes. Insert PALS. Should look like this. The tabs will not break. Bend as far as you need to. Um, I'll try that out. So here you go. So goes in plate carrier like this. These do have some elasticity to it. Hmm. Seems like all right. It's, huh, let's see. I mean, it's plastic, so. And then you have this part right here, which definitely I don't think will work on my plate carrier. But you put this in, and you have this little elastic band, hooks on top, so you're able to hook it there and keep it shut. Has little hooks and loops, Velcro, part right here so you can have some patches and everything on it. But I'm gonna get my plate carrier here and we'll see how that goes. All right, so here's my plate carrier. As you can see, it is not a typical plate carrier. It is not, let me unhook these. It does not have, you know, fabric 
like normal ones do. It is made out of Kyra. There we go. This is the Ace Link Skeltac plate carrier made in Poland. Now these here are supposed to be Molly compatible, but we'll see. Uh, let's see how this hooks in first. So you have these little lugs right here on the phone case and those hook into the corresponding lugs here. There you go, nice uh, lock up. And you can close it. And that's nice how you have your, um, I guess you can kind of use your phone as a um, light source too. Just kind of peek down at it, turn your light on and have a light on your chest, that's cool. Let me take this out. Oh man. And let's see about getting this on. So, uh, so right away, oh, nope, I might be in for a surprise actually. So what's actually gonna be easy about this one, I can actually get behind it with this. Shell back tactical level four plates. Pop that up there. And look, it does have easy access behind here. So here we go. Pop that right here on this part. sure about this guys <laughs> so that works and I'll just push this down it says bend these back it doesn't matter ow there we go it is not very huh doesn't line up exactly. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna have a lot of movement there, but there are the options. I can, looks like they have little holes here and everything. I'll be able to, you know, possibly mess around with that, mount it up in a different way. And then I'm not sure about this at all. Hmm. <laughs> This is what I get for getting a non-typical standard plate carrier. I just had to be different. Um, I have a few other plate carriers. I'm gonna try that, see how it looks on that. All right, here I have a Shellback Rampage or Banshee. I forgot what this, this one is, but it is a Shellback Tactical plate carrier here, and it has the laser cutout that is gonna be more typical for what most of you guys probably have. And this should work, no issue with it. Yeah, so they do make these in FDE, which would be a much better color match with this, obviously. Right. I got it on here. Um, you guys can see there's really no overlap. It's kind of just like a wedge that doesn't allow it to go down. Same thing on the bottom wedge doesn't allow it to go up but it doesn't seem like it'll be like the most solid lockup that you'll have a little bit of movement here regardless and same thing with this this goes in pretty easy it looks like just like that there you go close it up So, um, gotta say, I'm not too thrilled about it. I would probably like something more where sh possibly straps like that were involved where you could actually cinch it down and you don't have this kind of wobble here. It might be different for other plate carriers. Side to side isn't that bad, but there's definitely 
enough room for some play to take place up and down. And there you go. So it would be on you like this. Have it on your chest. Do what you need to. Messing around. Have it locked up. Not going anywhere. Need to look at something. Maps, whatever. Bring it down. It's right in front of you. Right there. All right. So I have it set up on my chest rig. I kind of took some parts apart to make it work. So in order to make this little bungee work here, I originally took what was wrapped around here. And I took the little clip that was attached to this and I just went on and wrapped it around directly to the plate carrier. So now I do have a little bungee right here that, you know, in case I jump something like that, even though by itself it is pretty uh, stiff. I don't have see, foresee a problem with it coming off like that. But now I do have the little bungee cable right there just in case. Um, if you guys can see this, so I have the phone set up in here. This is actually a iPhone X, not the 11 Pro. You can see uh, the different camera here and it's still working. If I open up my camera, I can kind of do a first person kind of camera. I guess this could be a way to shoot videos as well here. And as I said before, you can turn on your light and you have illumination right there. You don't have to have anything else. Although, you know, this is not going to substitute a real light that actually throws some lumens or candela. But some issue that I might see come up is being able to take your magazines out. So if you guys get a nice clear view, it does add some width, some thickness up here. So you do have to kind of, you know, practice as with anything, trying to get your mags out pretty quick. Um, this plate carrier or this um, pouch right here comes with the SNS Precision little clips right here. Uh, the outer magazine don't seem too much of an issue. I'm able to get those really easily. But you have to have a little bit more clearance with the middle one. Shouldn't be too much of an issue but you have to come out a little bit at a weird angle to make sure you clear this mount phone system right here. So overall, I think this can work on most plate carriers. Uh, what you do have to realize is you might have to adjust the height of whatever you have under it to clear your magazines and as well for this to fold down. So I move this as far down as I could because if there's not a lot of space, like right here, this is as far as I'm able to lay it down and I'm running into these mags here. Um, I can push down a little bit more, but as of like right here, if I just want to, let's say, open up Google Maps. And there you go. So I have a map right in front of me and it's actually kind of pretty cool. <laughs> so this is a very interesting product. Not that I have any use for this really, I just go to the range and mess around a lot, um, but it is actually kind of cool, fun, a novelty for me. And then with that side to side wiggle I was talking about earlier, once you get the plates in there and press it against, with mine specifically, because these straps are able to press up against the back of the mounts with my plate carrier up and down, that's pretty much gone, but I still have a little bit of the side to side wobble. If you guys have the proper laser cut molly attachments, uh, it'll probably get eliminated if your plates fit pretty, pretty tight. But for me, it's a little bit, um, just a little bit loose, but as you can see there, you have the plates pressing up against it and it feels a lot more solid that way. So I'll try it out for a little while, take it to the range. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Probably just film some videos with it. Uh, the actual other iPhone has a wide angle camera, so that will come in handy with the first person shooting. Um, but stay tuned, I'll give you guys a review what I think about it. But 
my hopes and my expectations were a little bit low unboxing it, but now they're a little bit higher. Thanks for watching.